So if you are thinking about moving to San Clemente, California, you're gonna wanna get out your pen and a piece of paper because we're gonna talk about everything that you need to know about moving to San Clemente. We're gonna talk about cost of living. We're gonna talk about areas that are like San Clemente. We're gonna talk about different neighborhoods in San Clemente. We're gonna talk about schools. We're gonna talk about all the nitty gritty that goes into what it means to move to a certain area and what this city is like. So let's get started. Okay, so here we are, this little, I don't know if you can even see it, you wanna circle it? Oh, here we are. This little tiny city uh, at the very tip, the very southern tip of Orange County, if you want to scan out, I would say the biggest knock against San Clemente and why some people don't like it, you can see, okay, so circle this green zone right here. Let's draw a line here. Okay, where are we going? So the green zone, the... Oh, with all this? Yeah, so basically, so you can see San Clemente and then Orange County, you want to circle the rest of Orange County. So then the rest of Orange County is, you know, directly adjacent to San Clemente. But it's kind of off in the boondocks a little bit because you have this big green zone that we just circled. You know I get paid for my circling skills. That's true. Yeah. Which is basically Camp Pendleton, right? Camp Pendleton is a marine base. So it's an empty, it's empty space. You can't live there. You have to drive. I think it's from San Clemente to Oceanside, which is the first. A good 20 minutes. Yeah, it's a good 20 minutes. No traffic. Yeah, 20 minutes without traffic. He's not saying there's no traffic because there can be significant traffic. Significant. <laughs> There I, can. I, I've been caught. In, you, in that. You, there can be significant. Yeah, actually, so like a little fun little tidbit. Uh, yeah. Courtney and I used to live in Carlsbad, which is right here for a couple of years. Yeah. And so I'd still be doing stuff in Orange County. And so I'd make this trek. And yeah, most of the time, actually, it wasn't terrible. But there sometimes. were times. Sometimes. Yes. I could, like, you know, just bring out a book, you know, yeah. just, you know, nice. Yeah. Nice time on the freeway. Yeah, so it so that's one of the things that people don't like about San Clemente is that like and sometimes like okay so we have a tour we have a vlog tour of San Clemente which we need to redo because the sound was not that good. Her fault. <laughs> no, it's because of the microphones. Don't get me started on technology. <laughs> I will literally go into a rant. Okay, we Man will of rage. <laughs> we will be doing this. We just purchased the new microphones because it finally came to a head. But that is beside the point. So far, so good. Until <laughs> so, she throws it in the ground and destroys it. <laughs> But for now. Yes, but for now. But if you if you actually watch the vlog tour that we have, which I will link to at the end, we actually do actually accidentally don't take the last turn off, and then we have to basically drive that whole way <laughs> and then turn around. Uh, yeah, so that's the biggest knock against San Clemente. So before we continue, let's introduce ourselves. My name's Courtney Dezod. And I'm Sean Dezod. And we are licensed real estate agents here in the state of California. Yeah, and if you're watching this channel, if you're watching this video, you might be thinking, wow, Sean, I love Orange County. I love the glitz. I love the glamour. I love the weather. I can't wait to move out there. But I don't know the first thing about how to even start that move because I might be out of the area, might be out of state. I might be out of the country. So what do I do? And I totally get that. That's why anyone reach out to us so we can have that conversation to really understand what you're looking for and really game plan to find that perfect property for you. If you want to just zoom in more on San Clemente, we can talk oh. about like the different... Well, actually, okay, so we brought up uh, like San Juan, I mean, we brought up Camp Pendleton, mm -hmm. but also we should bring up San Onofre. It's, it's, it's oh, a yes. Neighbor. Oh, yeah. San Onofre. Uh, okay. Two, two things. One, it is a decommissioned nuclear power plant. So if you don't want to live next to that, that is understandable. Although um, it is decommissioned. So it's, it's decommissioned. not... So like it's not actively generating yeah. electricity and stuff like that. So it's, I, I know I've actually had people. Which is a whole different debate in itself, but we won't get yeah. into that. <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> at its current state, yes. it's not generating electricity, yes. which is kind of not ideal, but <laughs> again, it is what it is. Yeah. But I guess on the plus side, at mm -hmm. least you don't have something that's nuclear that's going off on your backyard. So yeah. there is that. So And um, then right there, if you're a surfer, just a little tidbit oh, yeah. of a surfer, you have Trestles, Trestles State Beach, which is a world-renowned surf spot, right? Basically, right at, at okay, that's San Onofre. So yeah. you see it on the freeway. That's 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 the nuclear power plant. Power plant yeah, uh, having grown up in San Diego uh, and having to drive to Orange County all the time because I would go home to visit my parents, um, I would pass by those all the time. Yes. Oh, uh, as I'm, I'm getting right flashbacks there. of my childhood here. Uh, yeah, it's which a is we last. <laughs> So okay. yeah, and then, so yeah, but if you're looking for good surfing, this yes. is pretty amazing actually. This sur so I used to work for the company that owns Surfer Magazine, and the company actually was based in San Clemente. What is this? Uh, I'm, the, Google's messing with us right now. The, the company was based in San Clemente, and all the surfers would would take long lunches, and they'd go down to San San Onofre and, and surf. Yeah, including my boss. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, so so great surfing here yes. if you're interested. Yeah, Trestles Beach right here. Yeah. That's where you can get some crazy like surfing and all that stuff. Yeah. So that's that's that. And we do walk to that on our tour. We did, yes, we <laughs> yes. did. Yeah. Well, and saw the surfers on their bikes, you know, with their surfboards. Yeah, it's not yeah. the most convenient beach in the no, world. I'll, I'll give you, it's, it's a bit of a hike to mm -hmm. get there, yeah. but the payoff is well worth it. I guess so it, according told. to the server, we're not yeah. surfers. Don't ask me. Uh, but also, I guess if you are interested in surfing, so according to my old boss, who used to be the editor of Surfer Magazine, uh, it's a great place to learn how to surf, too. Mm. Like, that's where he taught his kids how to surf. So not only is it a great place for pros, but it's a great place for beginners. Yeah, so now, so, that, so, so that's technically on the San Diego County line. Yeah. And then so you cross that, and then you're in San Clemente here. Yeah, if you want to just click on San Clemente, we can tell, talk to you about the different neighborhoods of San Clemente. The San Clemente is pretty interesting because you get, like, the downtown area, which is totally different than kind of like the master planned area of San Clemente. Yeah, it is a it's a tale of two cities, right? So you mm -hmm. have this like cool like you know be super beachy vibe mm -hmm. where you have a pier even, and you have just a bunch of houses that are totally like various different sizes, conditions, all that stuff. Like some are beach shacks, and the other ones are like quite magnificent pieces of work. So that you know mm -hmm. you have a whole bunch. This is huge variation, and on top of that. You have like you cross the five freeway, and then on the other side you have actually just yeah, a so much more. you want to show people what the five freeway. Yeah, are. so the five freeway. This is a major artery in Orange County here. In in California, in the West Coast, yeah. actually, <laughs> it goes all the way up to Canada. Yeah, it goes from from Mexico yeah. to Canada. Yeah. So yeah, so on the uh, coastal side of that, you get like downtown San Clemente. You get these are the older homes. It's very beachy vibe, like Sean was saying. You have like a shopping district there, downtown district, lots of restaurants, lots of stuff to do. I love that part of San Clemente. Like we go out there to hang out just with our kids. It's fun to walk around. Beautiful. Yes, it is fun. I mean, it's it's a really cool place to go. So like mm -hmm. we like you know so. So Coastal San Clemente is great, yeah. and then yeah, you, but you're going oh, but I want that more South County Irvine vibe. Like I want that whole you know master plan community, newer construction type stuff. Mm -hmm. The amenities. And, yeah, so that's where you cross the five freeway, mm -hmm. and then you go, and then you basically find yourself in like Rancho San Clemente or Talega, that kind of stuff, where you have like again much more of that other kind of setup here. Yeah, so it's it's funny, you, you go to this part of San Clemente and you're like, wait, am I in Irvine? Or it kind of actually reminds me of Laguna Niguel, like a lot of Laguna Niguel. Yeah, let's actually, I wonder if, like, if like if we zoom in, like, if you're going to even feel like the neighborhoods. Yeah, there so you, you can so see. So very. South County. Yeah, so these are obviously townhomes here, but, like, they yeah. have houses and all the stuff here, mm -hmm. too. Yeah. But this kind of is more depicting. So that's kind of where you're kind of getting a feel of, like, that kind of Irvine, South County Mm -hmm. look I yeah. guess yeah okay so now that we've given you like a little and obviously San Clemente it's it's pretty small right I mean it's not like this huge uh city with tons of inventory uh oh so yeah so okay so even that looks honestly that looks like Irvine <laughs> I would never <laughs> it looks know like that looks like Mission Viejo yeah. Irvine yeah like it's yeah. I'm like yeah it's you're getting flashbacks you're going, if okay, you told but... me that this was Irvine I'd be like okay it's Irvine. Yeah, fun fact. Yeah. Summerlin, Nevada actually has a, a very similar vibe to this, actually. It does, yeah. Ir a lot of people throughout the country and world copy Irvine because Irvine is known for its amenities, right? People love the amenities, the master planning. You think there should be a target on this corner. And hey, guess what? There is a target because somebody planned it to be there. Yeah, and you have so. golf courses and all yeah. that stuff, too. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So, it's, it's a really, San Clemente is really fascinating from that perspective where mm -hmm. you have the coastal vibe and then you get that whole master plan kind of vibe to it. Yeah, and then do you want to go into cost of living? Let's do it. Okay, so this is the elephant in the room, right? Uh, cost of living, uh, not only in San Clemente, but in all of Southern California. Yeah, and but we will say this. Okay, so uh, we'll start with like the bad, right? Let's mm -hmm. start with the bad. So the bad is well, like okay, obviously. Okay, so first show a hundred is is average cost of living for the United States. Whenever people say average, I'm always like, okay, Houston, Texas, because <laughs> that's what Texas is known for, known for jobs and for good cost of living, right? Yeah, and then like so you go and oh wow, so okay, like you look at these things like transportation. Okay, it's a little higher. This is a little higher. Health is actually lower. Groceries mm -hmm. are just a little bit higher. Yeah. But why is it not 205? Why is that? Yeah. Oh, it's because housing is 425. Yeah. So it's way above, you know, your typical cost of living as far as housing is concerned. Yeah. In the country. 
and almost double that of the state of California. Yeah, and if you want to just go to what the median home price, median means the middle. So the median home price for San Clemente at this time of this recording is 1.642. 1.642. And you can see, like the time of this recording, it's actually going up. So we are noticing that uh, the market is going up again. Yes. It's kind of like Tom Brady. I saw this meme, like the real estate market. People, it's like Tom Brady from starting from young, and they just keeps getting better and better and better. <laughs> like, you know, like, that's the real estate market. At least that's what I think of. <laughs> yes, but you know, I can't predict the future. If I did, if I could, I would not be sitting here right now. But I mean, I don't know. I don't foresee prices going down like really that much or if at all do yeah. you it seems like it's just very resilient and, yeah. and again you also have to look at value so i know this sounds like a like for some people this might sound like a really high number you have to understand your coastal orange county this is the best weather in the world yeah like again i will put it up against you give me your mediterranean climate you give me your like your your uh the nieces of the world the, yeah your, the greases of the world the gold coast in yeah. australia like it give me whatever you got and yeah. i will i will raise you with this and oh. we will win it is objectively the best weather in the world close to orange county so like sean was saying because if you actually look at like newport beach i don't know if you want to hear let me go back to this map to show you or well, let's go look at it even closer okay yeah okay so let's go oops to laguna beach fantastic city but you know what it's gonna cost you. So now, so Laguna Beach, which is what, what would you say, like 20 minutes from San Clemente? So mm -hmm. San Clemente is 1.642, Laguna Beach 2.55. So. Way higher. Way higher, and in reality, I mean, are you getting that much more? I don't know. I uh, can't even say convenience because. Yeah. Newport, I mean, it's good. Laguna Beach is actually not that easy to get to. And then obviously if you get to like, you know, so Newport Beach, Laguna Beach, they kind of se seemingly always kind of have a similar median yeah. home price. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so 2.6, 1.5, okay. like 2.5-ish. It's really 2.7 really yeah. if you're rounding up. And so this is like, when you're talking about this stuff, like it's over a million dollars more than San Clemente's median home price, right? Yeah. So that's where you're kind of going, okay, so for coastal Orange County, Again, best weather in the world, the beautiful beaches, the whole nine yards. Mm -hmm. Again, it's not cheap, but the thing is that compared to your neighbors, it's not that expensive either. Yeah. So another resource that we like to use when we're talking about different cities is niche.com. Um, it's it's just really nice. Uh, it'll get, so it gives San Clemente overall grade A minus. Let's see. Housing, it gets dinged on. I wonder why, because it's <laughs> not cheap, okay. so. Okay. So. Let's talk about crime and safety according to niche.com. Again, these aren't our numbers. And when we talk about crime and safety, like it's hard for us to say. People always ask, like, is it safe? And I'm like, I don't know what your definition of safe is. Like, I've known someone that she grew up in Irvine, and when she went to school uh, out of state, she literally like, put on like four different extra locks on her door because like her idea of safety was totally different than mine, right? Like, I've lived in New York City. My idea of safety is probably different than yours. But uh, so this is, I like to just use niche.com to look at the numbers. So you can see like national average and then San Clemente average. And then you can see like, what, it, how do the numbers compare? <laughs> I still don't, I, I mean, I don't, I don't understand their letter grades. Like yeah. I would just th I think they'd be better served in this situation, just giving you the numbers and you can yeah, kind of you decide can, for that for yourself. Because yeah. this makes, when I'm looking at this, I don't see, I don't see what they're saying. To for give a C it. plus. Yeah, yeah. I don't understand because if you look at these things, these are pretty yeah. like, low. Again, it's this all is, relative. Yeah. I don't. I. I mean, we can't really steer you that way. Yeah. It just. if I'm looking at this, I personally wouldn't be alarmed by any of the statistics there. Neither would I. But yeah, again, it's for you to decide, yeah, right? Exactly. You you can decide what you think is safe and what you don't think. Wait, is safe. don't they even for Irvine? Like so, yeah, like you know, I think that, like, Irvine so, gets a C plus. <laughs> which is so Irvine. Just so you know, is this city that has ranked number one in FBI crime statistics data for like any city above 250,000 people for 17 straight years mm -hmm. and niche.com again I yeah. I don't know what they're like what they're basing it off of but again regardless here are the stats you know f like feel free to take with it like you know digest that how you like yeah and then if you want to talk about places that are like San Clemente right because a lot of times when people call us they say you know I want to live in San Clemente and then Sean will be like that's great uh here's some homes in San Clemente you might want to check out these areas too because they are similar right yeah. and uh 
these these are pretty similar, except for Mission Viejo, I wouldn't say. Laguna, Laguna Hills, Hills. I don't. I actually, I like would Dana say Dana Point and Laguna Niguel definitely very and, similar. And San Juan Capistrano, I would say, is another. Oh yeah, that's Like I don't true. know exactly why they're not having San Juan Capistrano in there, but yeah, well, you could say more. Let's do this. Sometimes they'll be like Pasadena. <laughs> they're still not there, which is crazy. Yeah. To me. Like I, I'm honestly not understanding. Yeah, some so of that's these that's why you got to reach out to us because I I don't know how they decide this. Um, yeah. Yeah, like Fountain Valley, they put Fountain Valley on there, right? Which yeah. I love Fountain Valley, but I don't think it's similar to San I wouldn't Clemente. go, this reminds me of <laughs> San Clemente. No, yeah. it's not Coastal City. It's 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 central. It's a different part of the county altogether. Yeah. And, and I mean, Huntington Beach, maybe you can kind of, be, you know, maybe sort of. Yeah. I mean, it's at least a coastal city, so at least there's something to that. But yeah, yeah some, some of these I'm not, not quite understanding the correlation. Yeah. And then if you want to talk about schools, so um, San Clemente is part of the Capistrano Unified School District, which is the largest school district in Orange County. And one thing, again, this is this is not us because we can't steer you anyway, but one thing that uh, niche.com does provide is Capistrano Unified School District. You can go on it and then it'll show you a map. It'll show you a map of all the different schools and what grades they get in that district. One nice thing also about the Capistrano Unified School District is that it has special programs, meaning like, hey, what, you might be interested in like Waldorf philosophy of education. So they have a charter school and you can, uh, you can lottery to get into that charter school. So you don't necessarily have to um, go to... Uh, wherever your school is zoned. Yeah, wherever your school is zoned. They do have charter schools like that. They have a highly successful um, language immersion uh, program both in Spanish and Mandarin. Multiple schools do Spanish, including one in uh, San Clemente. Uh, so I'm pretty sure Capistrano was the first district in Orange County to start implementing language immersion. So a lot of other schools like around the county, which also do that, they tend to go back to Capistrano and ask them, you know, you know, how does this work? How does that work? Trying to get better on language acquisition for the kids. So yeah, that's just something about uh, the Capistrano Unified School District. Yeah, it just is nice because it is such a large school district that you mm -hmm. have a lot of different options. Yeah. And again, so whatever, <laughs> seems like seemingly whatever you're looking to study, it's you're going to find it here. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, actually, one of the, so San Clemente is fairly close to Dana Point. I just randomly thought of this. So if you are interested in Spanish immersion, like Dana Point also has a Spanish immersion, but they combine it with an ocean science program. So they specialize in like Spanish immersion and ocean science science mm. and it's an elementary school which is like super cool i always see stickers of that school around like when i'm in south county it's it's really cool so again now, lots of options do you think that 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 school will turn out any marine biologists it, it is possible i mean obviously you're dealing with elementary school who knows what when you're a kid like how you end up but, but and, and being a marine biologist that is a profession right? <laughs> yes people do that well, it's, it's obviously, you're right next to the ocean, so yeah. And remember, we are licensed realtors here in the state of California, so as much as we love making these videos, what we love more is to help you with your real estate needs. So whether you're looking to buy or sell a home, what you want to do is you want to give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. Or you can reach out to us via WhatsApp. However you want to get a hold of us, we've got your back.